We are talking to Lloyd Kaufman, co-founder of Troma Studios. Lloyd, welcome to Toronto. Greetings from Tromerville. Thanks so much for uh, being interested in the Toxic Avenger musical. What a great musical. How did the Toxic Avenger become a musical? It's an interesting story. It's sort of the gift of uh, bootlegging in a way. I gave uh, a license to a bunch of fans in Portland, Oregon to make Toxic Avenger the music kill. They had the idea of uh, doing a, a musical. They had no money and they, it was really, really rude. It was very, very low budget, but it was good. I went to see it. I traveled from New York to Portland to, to go and see it. It was great. And then and of course we made no money from it, but it didn't hurt, to, you know, it keeps Toxie in the public eye, uh, locally. And then uh, some people in Omaha put on the Toxic Avenger, uh, Toxic Avenger the musical. The guy wrote the whole score, wrote the music, lyrics, a book, and they put it on in Omaha for a different, totally different show in, uh, and I think it went for about six or seven weeks, and I think they may have made a little money. And that attracted the attention of the producers of the current Toxic Avenger musical who were big-time Broadway producers, and they uh, started from scratch um, and uh, put together a wonderful mainstream version of Troma's unique uh, brand of political sociological satire, and uh, uh, have done, a, uh, they, they found, uh, of course, David Bryan of Bon Jovi, who's, an, uh, uh, you know, they're big Troma fans, and Toxie, actually, Tromaville, New Jersey is where Toxie lives. And, um, and then Joe DiPietro, uh, you know, and you know the rest. Those guys are, Joe DiPietro is uh, one of, he wrote the longest running Broadway musical in history. Uh, I love you, you're perfect, now change. So these two guys are just amazing together. They, they really are magical. And they've written a huge hit now called Memphis also, which is on Broadway in New York. The Toxic Avenger musical has been playing a year in New York with no, you know, basically no money spent on advertising. It's been purely, uh, kind of cyberspace and the trauma fans or people like that spreading the word and uh, and uh, amazing word of mouth. Yeah, Toxie's 25 years old. I just watched The Toxic Avenger last night for the umpteenth time. Uh, why is Toxie so popular? How do you explain his longevity besides him being toxic? The Toxic Avenger has a magic to it. Uh, I can't really explain it, but what's interesting is that when it came out, that kind of a movie uh, uh, it usually would appear just to men, boys, and the Toxic Avenger always drew couples when it was in the movie theaters. It was, uh, you know, Toxie's very romantic. He's got a, a, a blind girlfriend, or gyno friend, but um, it, it's Chaplin-esque. City Lights is a big influence on the Toxic Avenger. That's where the blind, uh, the blind gyno comes in. Uh, Preston Sturgis is a big hero of mine, and the, the mugs, the character actors in the Toxic Avenger who support Toxie when the, when the establishment turns against him. Uh, Toxie is the great underdog, you know, his, his only weapon is a mop, his only superpower is he can jump. Um, I, and New Jersey is an underdog, and, uh, and the environment became, uh, even though in 1982 it wasn't on people's radar, um, it was ahead of its time, and the uh, and now the environment's a major, major, major thing. So there's been, the Toxic Avenger movie is the only movie in history where a boy's head is squashed by the wheel of an automobile that was made into a children's uh, environmentally correct uh, TV cartoon, a Saturday morning cartoon show. So now a Broadway mainstream musical opening here in Toronto uh, with a bigger cast and a bigger venue uh, is absolutely uh, spectacular, it's amazing. Now there is um, a listing on the Internet Movie Database for Toxic Twins, The Toxic Avenger 5. Tell us about that. Is it legitimate? Is there going to be another Toxic uh, I'm, film? I'm writing the fifth Toxic Avenger, yes. Uh, I've just started it and I, I haven't really found my way. It takes me about a year to... The Poultry Guys, Night of the Chicken Dead took a year for us to get a script that I liked. Romeo and Juliet was a five year, it took five years until James Gunn happened to come into the office to be my assistant and I forced him to write a script in one week. And uh, Romeo and Juliet took five years. So I take a long time writing the script. But um, uh, Toxic Avenger Part 5, Michael Hers, my partner of almost 40 years, he has green-lighted or brown-lighted, as we say in Tromaville, the, uh, the Toxic Avenger Part 5. So at some point, uh, we will do it. Another Troma film, Mother's Day, is wrapping on Tuesday. 
in um, Winnipeg. Oh, is it Rapping Tuesday? Wow, it is. fantastic. I just, I just interviewed. Like Kanye West? It's doing like Kanye West. Will it steal the uh, prize from, uh, will it grab the prize out of uh, that hot chick's uh, hand? Uh, Taylor Swift? We'll see. But Taylor Swift should not have won the, uh, I'm sorry, Kanye West was correct. His method was not uh, exactly uh, Yale uh, educated, but he was right. I mean, every, uh, certainly uh, Beyonce's song was better. Uh, Lady Gaga was definitely better. Um, uh, uh, Pink was better. Uh, I, I agree with Kanye West. That thing was fixed. I mean, that's got, those awards have to be fixed, as MTV award. In my opinion, this, it's bullshit. But he, his method was not cool, proper, it was not proper, but he was right. Go yay. And she was cool. I mean, Tanya, uh, what's her name? Taylor Swift is great. I like her a lot, and she's hot as hell. But, uh, um, uh, you know, I don't think that song deserved anything. 